Good morning, friends. Today is Monday, September 13th, and I guess this is like my first full week of preparing for the audition. So I have nine weeks until the audition, which honestly seems like a long time, but I also know that um, it will fly by. So my goal this week is to practice about an hour in, is to practice an hour and a half a day. I know this might not seem like a lot, but before this I was practicing like 30 minutes a day. That's really hard to admit, but, um, and I don't want to like bump up my time like too like aggressively because I don't want to get injured. And like I said, I have nine weeks, so I have plenty of time to, you know, set that up. So my goal this week is to practice for an hour and a half. I did practice yesterday. I did my Tchaikovsky and some excerpts. I didn't film because I was like, not looking cute but <laughs> anyway um today i've already practiced for 30 minutes i do my warm-up it takes about 30 minutes and right now i'm going to practice mozart so my goal my goal my plan is to switch off between tchaikovsky and mozart and um honestly like i feel like i've played the tchaikovsky so much that mm, it's a little, I don't know if I want to say like tedious to practice. So I kind of prefer the Mozart right now, but who knows? That might change. And as much as like, I'm, I want this to be like for you guys to see like a behind the scenes of the preparation, it's honestly for me too, to like keep me accountable. Cause I feel like even when I'm just making like those time lapses of myself, I'm more like on my games. I'm like, oh, someone's watching me. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's keep practicing. Something that I'm also really trying to focus on in practice is just like relaxing and not tensing up because I tend to hold a lot of tension in like my mouth and my jaw and um, obviously like when you're nervous and going to the audition you're going to be like more tense and more stressed so I want to practice like releasing that tension now. Hey guys, so I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on how exactly I practice. So basically what I do is I read through the excerpt uh, or the passage that I'm going to be practicing like slowly just fixing intonation and then I basically just gradually work it up with the metronome. So I'm going to kind of show you an example here with um, Don Juan, everybody's favorite excerpt. <laughs>
September 14th, I think. It's Tuesday, it's the next day. Um, I am about to practice. It's already like 1 p.m. Um, because I've been teaching like all morning. I did get to do my warm up um, this morning before I started teaching, but my plan today is to do the like first half of the Tchaikovsky. I did the last half of the Tchaikovsky last time and get that up to 50 and then um, practice my excerpts. All right guys, I'm gonna try filming this way, see if it's better. Um, I just finished up practicing. I did Tchaikovsky for like 45 minutes. Um, it actually went pretty well. I found myself getting, you know, lost in the music, <laughs> shall, um, shall we say. And um, I think it went pretty well. You saw me before playing it at 50. And then I practiced a little bit of Don Juan and then I practiced some of the Bach double because I think one of my, my students and I are going to play it together tonight, so I just wanted to make sure that you know, I went over it before I um, played it with her. Um, but yeah, probably over the next like two to three weeks, all I'm basically going to be doing is getting the pieces back up to speed, um, really refining intonation. And once they're all up to speed, then I'll start focusing more on like musicality and something that I definitely struggle with, especially like in audition settings, is um, like staying with a steady pulse. So like one of my favorite practice techniques to practice that is to put the metronome on silent and start with it, but then like um, close my eyes and then see if I end with it or maybe even just play a few bars. This is really challenging and if you've never tried it, I definitely um, suggest doing it because it's very telling. I like to do it especially with the Mendelssohn, the Midsummer Night's Dream. I never stay with the metronome. <laughs> So yeah, and then probably about like two to three weeks out, I'll start doing like mock auditions and stuff. So we still have a while to go and I know this might not be the most like interesting part of audition prep, but it is what it is. You have to get the, thing, the pieces back under your fingers and you have to get them all up to speed first, right? So um, yeah, at least in my opinion, but yeah. Oh, also wanted to mention the reason why I stopped practicing is because my hand is starting to hurt like right there holding my phone but like on my pinky side and um yeah it's just because i haven't like i told you guys i only practiced for like 30 minutes a day before this and i probably played for like at least two hours today so i don't want to overdo it i don't want to injure myself so i'm just stopping um when i feel uncomfortable and i know that stamina will come back in no time so this is your sign if it hurts stop it's not worth it good morning friends it's now Wednesday, September 15th. I cannot believe we're halfway through September. But anyway, I um, don't have, I mean, I have time to practice today, but I'm also teaching for like seven hours. So I'm pretty much just gonna teach and practice. <laughs> um, so I'm going to um, do some Mozart and um, some excerpts. So you might be wondering why I'm like smiling like an idiot during that last clip. I mentioned before that I really struggle with um, holding tension in like my mouth and jaw and smiling helps like release that and just remind me to relax. Um, I feel like it also just helps with the mood of the piece. Like Mozart is a very like, at least this piece anyway, is like very happy, very joyful, you know, and I might look like an idiot, but it helps me. So <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right?
So this excerpt is definitely one of the ones that I'm most insecure about because I never formally studied this excerpt in school. Like in my graduate school, we had like excerpts class where we went over a bunch of these excerpts, but I never learned this one. And um, yeah, so I just feel like you don't have any like real guidance on it. It's first of all, it's super fast and there's a lot of specific markings like dots and accents and it's quiet too which is really hard to control when you're nervous so the way i'm approaching this is i'm doing it like i'm trying to practice it more than the other excerpts that i am more familiar with and i'm um, just trying to pay attention to every little marking and recording myself this is the music for anyone that's curious Good morning, friends. It is now Thursday, September 16th. I've already been practicing. I did film an intro, but then I accidentally deleted it because um, my phone's running out of storage. So anyway, um, I've been practicing. My goal today is to get the second half of this Tchaikovsky ex exposition up to 60. And then tomorrow, I'll do the first half. Like I said, over the next like two, three weeks, I'm just going to be getting everything back up to speed again. So that's what I'm working on today. And of course, really refining the um, intonation. I also spent um, like maybe a little bit of time making some TikToks this morning. I like, I love TikTok. I could scroll TikTok for hours and I thought, you know, why not just make some fun TikToks? I honestly have a ton of fun doing it. So if you want to search me on TikTok, it's Suzuki Violin Teacher. I'll leave it linked down below, but I made like some funny ones. At least I think they're funny. So if you're interested, if you're on TikTok, go check it out and let me know what you think. that you just saw me playing was Beethoven 3. This is an excerpt that I have studied extensively in grad school, but it's still difficult. What makes it difficult for me are first of all staying with a steady pulse. Obviously that's okay with the metronome, but um, you know when you don't have the metronome it's hard to stay in a steady pulse. Second is just the bow stroke, like it's so quiet. It's kind of like the same as the Mendelssohn, sort of. Obviously I'm playing it um, under tempo here, but yeah, I kind of just felt like working on that excerpt today, but it's like almost 1 p.m. and I already have to start getting ready for work, um, teaching. That's why I get up early. I get up at 6 every day, so I make sure I have enough time to do all the things that I need to do before um, teaching for pretty much the whole afternoon and evening. But yep, so ends day 4. Hello and good morning, friends. It's now Friday, September 17th. So this is the final day of week two of audition prep. I think I mentioned this in the last video that I don't practice on Saturdays. One, because I literally teach from nine to 4.30. And um, two, because we all just need a day off, right? So this is the last day. I'm feeling pretty good about my progress this week. I met my goal of practicing for at least an hour and a half every day. Um, I definitely think that is enough for now because my, um, like I mentioned, this is like a little like, not feeling like great, like it's a little sore. So I definitely think I don't want to like push myself. I don't want to get injured or anything like that. Um, so yeah, my plan today is to do the first half of the Tchaikovsky and then some excerpts. Um, my back is hurting today. I don't know. You guys probably don't know this, but like two years ago I injured my back and um, sometimes it'll just start hurting randomly. So it's hurting today. So I'm going to be sitting down while I practice. So it's not like distracting me. I'm also feeling pretty tired. Um, I started a new job recently and I don't get home until like 9 p.m. on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I wake up at six. So I'm usually in bed by like 9 or 9.30, but like I get home at nine and I don't really feel like sleeping. 
then and then I go to sleep late, but whatever, it's totally fine. It's Friday. Um, I love the students that I have today. I love all my students, but Friday's a, a really good teaching day and I get to end early. I get to end at seven instead of my usual eight. So it's gonna be a good day. Let's practice. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this week. I feel like this video is already like super long. So um, I appreciate you if you watch till the end. Um, I feel really good about my practice this week. I'm happy that I accomplished my goals. I'm feeling pretty good about the concertos. I think I need to um, focus more intently on the excerpts, um, especially the ones that I don't feel super familiar with. So um, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week for week three.